The next pattern in the Making Method Calls Simpler series is called Replace Parameter with Method. The motivation here is that you have an object that invokes a method and then passes the result of that method as a parameter to another method. Well, that other method can just as easily invoke the first method in the first place. So what we have here is this get price, which is calculating some temporary values and then calling this get discounted price, which is ultimately going to be what it returns. And it's passing those temporary values. Well, the first thing that jumps out at us is this discount level. If that's only used inside get discounted price, it could probably be calculated inside discounted price. And so the first thing we're going to do is extract this into a method by itself. Let's call it get discount level. Well, you could simplify this method a little bit. Let's return two, return one, get rid of that temp. Now we don't really care about that method body anymore. But we do have a method we can use here. And so here inside this method, instead of using this parameter, we'll just use the method itself. This would be an opportune time to run tests, of course. And now we can use remove parameter on this. Remove it here, since nothing was using it which also means we don't need this temp anymore because nothing's using that. And in fact, we can do the same thing with base price here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll extract that to get base price. Inline this a little bit. Now we don't really care about that method body anymore. But we can use it here just like we did with get discount level. Now, of course, if get base price was some really heavy calculation, then for performance reasons, we might want to put it in a temporary variable or even better, cache it inside this somehow. But it's not, so we don't really care about that. We can once again use remove parameter right here. And once again, we have this temp that we no longer need. Let's go ahead and inline this, make it a little, a little cleaner. And now what we're seeing here is actually a lot of delegation. Get price, all it does is get discounted price. So let's use inline method on this. Just put this entire method body right here. And now we're just delegating these exactly where they need to go. Get price is checking the discount level, getting the base price. Just the only other refactoring I would do here is maybe replace these methods with properties. That's just personal preference. Then, of course, rename that. And I'll do the same thing here. And rename that. That's not really part of the pattern. I just think that if all we're doing is observing something about this object, then we can do that in a property instead of a method. But that's pretty much it for the replace parameter with method pattern. Thanks for watching.